What is going on? It is the obscurest tourist here, the purveyor of all things off the beaten track, weird, cool, and today haunted because I come to you from one of America's most haunted places, Eureka Springs, Arkansas. And right behind me, that place right there, that is the Crescent Hotel. And in my summation, it is the most haunted hotel in all of America. Yeah, I know some of you are saying, no, 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 no. That is the Cecil in Los Angeles. And to you, I say, no, it's not. It's this place. When you hear the story of this place, your socks are going to be blown off. The hairs on the back of your neck are going to stand on end. Let's see if I can last the night in the Crescent Hotel. So let's... Let's check in. Let's go. the hotel wearing a cape oh boy One of the coolest stories here at the Crescent is that of its former general manager. Yes, you heard it. The Crescent Hotel had a cat named Morris who acted as its general manager for many years, even bestowed with 
the official title of general manager. And Morris died a few years back at the age of 21. And it's said that Morris would stand right by that very door and greet guests as they came in. And if you were lucky enough, he'd give you a tour of the place. How cool is that? Morris the cat. And right out here in the back garden is where one of the most loyal employees here at the Crescent over the years is buried. And that is just a little walk over here. That is the grave site of 21-year-old Morris the cat. He has been buried here since 1994. This little grave set. There's this little gravestone. I don't know if you can see. It's even a little, little cat engraved into the gravestone. Very cute. One of my favorite stories of Crescent Hotel. And there he is, the man of the hour. It's none other than Jasper. Jasper, can you say a few words? This is the kitty cat that has taken over from Morris and he is, he's all business. He doesn't want to have anything to do with me. Let's see if we can get a word with Jasper. Jasper, can I have a few words with you? Jasper, just want to ask you a few questions. Jasper, come here, buddy. He's very coy. Jasper, hey, buddy. He doesn't want to speak with us at all. He ran into the bushes. That's a move I haven't seen before. And check out this view, folks. Still early in the morning here, about 6 a.m. But holy heck, look at that. All the beautiful Ozarks all around me. Unbelievable. That is, that's Sasquatch country right there. There is where I stood looking out over the Ozarks and this is the ground floor view of the same a little higher above the trees there but pretty much the same thing I love Eureka Springs for its windy roads it is as I've said before the Switzerland of America
know those balconies up there are now off limits to patrons of the Crescent. They certainly weren't off limits to Baker's so-called patients because it's right there where he put them when his magical potion wasn't working, thinking perhaps that the sun would be a cure in and of itself and perhaps an aid to what he was doing. got my key to the room. I don't know if you can see that. It is 228 on the second floor here. And I think the room is just over here. Let's take a peek at it. There it is. 228. Well, it's simple enough. Oh, check this out. Look at that. Beautiful bed, bed frame, and a chandelier. Wow, that's a pretty cool room. Look at that. I think I'm gonna have a pretty solid sleep tonight if the ghosts of this place don't wake me from my slumber. On this wallpaper, I'm gonna switch this light on, get a little more light on the situation here. There's a light bulb burned out, but I'm not complaining. Look at how ornate this headboard is. Cool is that? Oh, these are these are good pillows. And look at this. Six pillows. Five, six, six pillows. That's crazy. I am gonna have a blast tonight. Interesting. I noticed this is the gazebo out back. And there's the Crescent Hotel right up there. Pretty cool. So it's getting a bit late, getting close to the witching hour. So I figured, why don't I show you around this hotel? Because it is a, it's truly a wonderful and historic place, aside from the fact that it might be haunted. Let's, uh, let's venture out into the hall. Even the ice cream vending machine here at the Crescent understands and knows exactly where it is. Look at that. I didn't even know they made ice cream Twix. Pretty cool.
And one of the most infamous ghosts here at the Crescent is that of Michael. And he resides, or did reside, actually he never resided. He was just building the place. He was an Irish stonemason who died during the construction of this place. And it was right here, or rather, this is the location of where he fell to his death. And today he is known to steal guests, jewelry, and also leave scents to romance some of the female guests of the female persuasion. I don't know about you, but sometimes I find the most beautiful places and the Crescent Hotel is absolutely stunning. Stunning, I could walk, I pretty much have walked through these halls all day. But the most beautiful places also turn out to be the most haunted. Who knew that? Another ghost that is set to haunt this hotel or spirit rather, because it is a somewhat of an angry entity, and that is of Theodora. Theodora was a nurse here back in the hotel's heydays as a hospital, and she was an angry one, known to slam shut suitcases, and today guests have reported hearing her wheel gurneys down the hallways and she occupies this room right here room number 419 which used to be rented out but seeing that there's no number on it anymore i don't know if it is i did a ghost tour here a couple years back and went into this room and immediately felt a bizarre sense of heaviness as if somebody was pushing down on my shoulders and I was told that that is sort of what you can expect when you enter that room so perhaps there is something to the idea that Theodora still haunts this place. right behind me if you it has been said that if you take a photo in front of it sometimes spirits show up afterwards when you're looking through your photos I've taken a photo in front of that a few times over the years nothing's appeared to me but doesn't mean it's not happening just old clippings on the wall here and this is one of the oldest pictures
newspaper clippings. And here's an ode to another different past back when, and I don't know if you can see that, but that is the Crescent College for Women. And right through there was the conservatory. Uh, no access right now though, so. Another ghost that is said to occupy these hallways is that of a four-year-old child named Brecky, who died 100 years ago while at this hospital. And he's said to show up in tourist photos. So who knows, maybe he'll show up in a photo somewhere when I go back to edit all this footage. This place is just the absolute coolest. And one of my favorite things here at the hotel, aside from the staircases, is this original elevator. Let's take it down. Look at these buttons. ground floor and visit Jasper. Well, I did it. I spent a night alone here at the Crescent Hotel and I lived to tell the tale. Not only that, I had an absolutely amazing sleep and how could, how could I not? Look at this bed, six pillows. Unfortunately, no ghosts found their way into my room and that's probably pretty fortunate because I was pretty tired last night. No Brecky playing outside of my room. No Theodora slamming suitcases shut. And no Michael stealing my jewelry. But I don't have any, so who knows? Maybe he did make a visit. For now, it is the obscurest tourist saying, stay safe, stay golden. I'm gonna add a new adjective to my repertoire. But most importantly, stay beautiful. Until next time, see you later.